Hey, what's happening, gamers? Welcome back to LEGO DC Super Villains. This is Episode 7, Black Adam Returns. So Black Adam is going to be the focal point of this episode. Your first like goal is 100 likes. Let's get those likes up if we haven't already. And thank you so much for getting 1,000 views on the previous stream in order to continue this series. So we're going to be doing some gold brick collecting. We're going to do some story progression. And uh, probably unlocking some characters as well. So yeah, hopefully you guys are having a good one. Um, people have been asking, like, what is the X-Men stream tonight? The X-Men stream tonight is brought to you by Patreon uh, Ultimate. And uh, I am not able to disclose what the game is until the stream starts. It is an X-Men game, and it's an X-Men game from the 90s, but it is not the X-Men arcade game. So I can't tell you any more than that. All right. Uh... And we are... Oh, we had some of that music play. That's not a good thing. <clears throat> hey, Dark Side, how's it going? Dun, 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 dun. We might be doing... Oh, we're only 17% through. Yeah, we're, we're still very early in the game. Incredibly early in the game. So there's a lot going on with YouTube right now. Um, live streams are not really working on the platform very well. Yesterday they had some serious issues, and today they have a lot of issues. Um, so, we'll do the best we can. <laughs> that's, that's all I can suggest. That's all we can do. <clears throat> Zero. Intro. Start. Hey, Richard. Hi, gang. Are you ready to leave for the museum? So sorry to disappoint you, my fear-focused friend. But I've got to go catch up with an old pal of mine. But I'm sure Harley here would be happy to show you the way. What? Oh, uh, absolutely, Puddin'. If there's one thing I love to do, it's taking weird color-obsessed aliens on trips to the museum. Indeed. But let's hurry. The sooner we can get to Adam, the sooner we can be rid of these false heroes. Will I still be playing this game by the 23rd of April? I mean, what's most likely going to happen, because this is, you have to remember, this is a filler series. There are three new games coming out that we're going to be covering on the channel once we get to the 22nd or 23rd of April. So, um, you know, the only way I would consider uh, keeping um, LEGO DC Super Villains going indefinitely is if it continues to do well. Um, but, you know, it might alternate days just like Ace Attorney or... it. Most likely what's going to happen is like exactly what happened with Final Fantasy with alternate days. You have to remember on this channel, new games take priority. There are two, three new games. Ninja Turtles is not going to take very long. The Ninja Turtles game coming out is not going to be very long at all. Guarantee. It is not. Um, that arcade game will probably be one or two streams. The crab game that we're going to do is probably going to be four or five streams. Highly likely. And, uh, I'm trying to think what else. Uh, Amber's been waiting for the crab game for quite a while. And, uh, I'm trying to think what else is happening. Oh, Sandland. The Sandland stream, believe it or not, did really well. Um, I ended that stream at, like, 400 views at, like, 1 in the morning. I was like, there's no way it's gonna get 1,000 views. It's up to almost 2,000 views already. You know? So, I mean, Sandland is definitely happening. Um, the Ninja Turtles game, at the most, is going to be two live streams. Um, but, um, rest assured, as long as this game is supported and we get people to watch it, um, and it gets a thousand views a stream, that's the only requirement. The only requirement for our live streams to continue is a thousand views a stream. That's it. Because the YouTuber does not get paid if we don't get a thousand views. So, my wife and I and our business is not a charity. If we upload or we post videos that don't get a thousand views, we're going to go out of business. It's not that we don't like you guys, it's just business. But, 
as long as the audience is able to get the view requirement to continue series, then of course we will always continue certain series. That's that's how we roll. <clears throat> but, you know, until we hit the view requirement, no, uh, you can't count on a certain series continuing or not because we can't afford to make zero dollars. Our business will implode. That's that's a bad business model, you know. And, you know, you can kind of blame YouTube for their archaic thing because they're the ones that decided that streamers and uploaders have to get a thousand views in order to get a cut of any revenue. They don't pay people otherwise, which is true. Um... There, I've even seen people that have like uh, a thousand people in a live stream. If they don't get super chats or they don't get a thousand views after their stream, they made zero dollars for that entire two or three hour podcast. That's just how it is. Now, YouTube will oversaturate somebody's stream with ads, but the streamer doesn't make anything, anything until either they get a super chat, a membership or their video gets a thousand views. So don't. Don't think that a streamer, just like by putting the time and streaming for several hours, they get paid. That's not true. Might be the that way on some platforms, but YouTube doesn't work that way. They go by the old uh, TV method of like a thousand views. Cost per um, thousand is what it's called. CPM. Which is weird. It should be cost per something else. But whatever. They'll never change their policy. And the reason why they don't want to change their policy is because they don't want to pay their content creators. So content creators that have been shadow banned or content creators that have been hacked and have problems. Tough luck, Charlie. If you can't get a thousand views, you don't get paid. And then your channel just dies. So we do everything we can to fight, and YouTube hates that. Um, so... They would much rather, like, uh, some new channel pops up that they can pay less money and uh, advertise that channel and then have that channel, you know, burn very brightly and then disappear after like three or four years. They don't like channels that stick around for 10, 12, 15 years. That bothers them. They want, you know, they want to focus on new content, new stuff, new people. It's like basically the same as working an office job, more or less. Like, you come to a point where you're working in the office, the office wants to bring in new blood, and they want you to retire. The problem is it's very hard for a YouTuber to retire without their legacy videos because Amber and I have to constantly work every day in order to make ends meet. There is no legacy content because we got shadow banned. I wouldn't be streaming four or five hours a day if we were still having our legacy, like our million viewed videos were still getting watched. Uh, I'm sorry, but I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't need to because I'd have our older content fitting the bill and I'd just live stream when I felt like it. I literally have to stream almost eight hours a day. It's it's rough. Anyway, um, why is this exclamation point here? What is that about? I, did I set this up for some reason? Oh, it's the Music Meister. I remember him. Unless the museum is over by the Music Meister, is that what's going on? Wait a second, is that him? Is this the museum? What is this? The giant sphinx here. That's weird. Why did I never see this before? Are we going to upload Stellar Blade to the other channel? Maybe. I don't know. It probably won't be both of us on those videos because the only time I'm free to record is like 3 in the morning. Amber's sleeping. I'm not an evil thing. Probably just be me. If I have time. I'd love to look at Stellar Blade. That's the big game of the um, the spring so far. Huh? Music Meister. Huh? That's how you spell his name. Yeah, that's pretty much Goki. Yeah, mm. Goki nailed it. The He's the music meister. I am the music meister. I used to be a heister, but then I chose to go legit. My wicked ways, I must now quit. <laughs> so please bring me some singers, experts, not mere beginners. And with their help, I'll stop all theft. I swear upon my harmonious breath. <laughs> Woo! You 
accepting my quest. Now go find me the best. Yeah, but you're not in key with everything that's happening. So basically, he's like a um. The music meister there is doing um. Broadway stuff. He's not really doing opera. He's doing Broadway. Talks and sings type thing. So we need to find singers. Come to Amusement Mile. Look at that. Harley and Joker right there on the poster. That's cute. Like, I personally, like, I think that YouTube should pay their employees or their contractors based on how many people are in the live stream and how long you live stream for. Like, how long is your watch time and stuff like that. Because the old method of a thousand views doesn't really work anymore. Yeah. And the more people that keep leaving YouTube for Twitch and other places, eventually YouTube's going to find themselves in a big, you know, kind of like black hole. Because there are hundreds of creators that are leaving every day. And the, the CPM is the lowest it's been in, um, like, YouTube's actual CPM that they pay their partners is the lowest it's been in 10 years. And that's because there's been a huge, um, you know, mass exodus of people. Because they just don't want to do YouTube anymore. Uh, uh, the, 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 the. Can you give me Where is the lady that I need to pick up? There's, looks like somebody's up on this roof here somewhere, but I don't see them. So I think that's a misconception. Unless... Is this the singer? That looks like a... Not a singer. That's a... Uh, I guess that counts as a singer. I was gonna say that's a break dancer. My mother always told me I had a great voice. Now I finally got my chance after all these years of hard work doing nothing related to the music industry. <laughs> all those years of hard work not related to the music industry. Okay then. You gotta love the um the fact that this game doesn't take itself seriously. It's kind of adorable. Like they just don't. Uh, alright. That's the best type of humor, is stuff that, like, is just aware of the joke and just runs with it. Like, that's that's such a meta thing. Okay, so where is this, um, person hanging out? If I go straight this way... Uh, they're probably inside of this church, or they're underneath the church. It'd be funny if it's a zombie. Or, like, somebody singing inside the church, like a choir-type situation. They're having choir practice. Was I correct? Doobie -loo, doobie -doobie -doo -doo -doo. Yep. I have been saying for years that I should just give up my job on a whim. This seems like the perfect opportunity. <laughs> I've been working for years, but I'm going to give up my job on the whim because this is a perfect opportunity. Yes. Yes, it is. You're going to be singing with the music meister. Mu music. Mu mu is it music meister or music min minstrel? Music Meister. Oh, yeah. Uh, Neil Patrick Harris played him in Batman Brave and the Bold. He did a fantastic job, actually. Uh, Mongol. We're not doing Mongol because Mongol is kind of annoying. All right. So follow the beam of light. How many of you guys remember the Batman Brave and the Bold uh, Music Meister episode? I think they actually had to hire somebody for Batman to sing. Because James Arnold Taylor, who played Green Arrow, and the lady who played Black Canary, they both can sing. But I don't think that Diedrich Batter can sing, so I think they hired somebody to sing for him. Because it was a musical episode. Uh, where is this singer at? Oh, I, I went too far. But the Music Meister is a a great episode for Batman Brave and the Bold. It's really funny. Oop -doop -doop. Oh boy! The music meister? I'm in. You're gonna have a flash mob with the music meister. Alright, so we just have one more person to find. Unless that was everybody. Let's see, let's check our map. Uh is there someone else I'm missing? Was there only three people? Huh. Apparently, it was only three people. Okay. Uh, where's music?
Music Meister. We gotta go all the way over here. And I think the Music Meister uses a uh, mind control or something as a stud. I don't even remember really doing a lot with the Music Meister after we unlocked him. So I had a little um, uh, blast from the past. Uh, our friends over at Lego, or the people who run, I might even be the same people that run the Lego DC Super Villains um, uh, Twitter. Uh, those people used to be a friend of mine. Um, they've actually been liking and retweeting our streams of this because we're like the only channel playing this. <laughs> so, and it was yeah, it was kind of cool to see that. I was like, is that same person I know at Traveler's Tale still there? Why are they retweeting and liking our stuff? Unless it's a bot running it. Thank you, my new friend. With these singers, I will end my life of crime and wrong. But wait, they look so strong. A thought has just occurred. To ignore would be absurd. While they're all still confused, I suppose they could be used. Yes, go forth, my underlings. Listen to the words your master sings. My voice and sweet hypnotic tunes, they've turned you all into my goons. <laughs> wow, the backup dance or backup singers were not in key at all. That was painful to listen to. They weren't even humming like at the same pitch as him. They were just going, do, 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 do. And he was going all over the place. They, they weren't... That was just terrible. I'm afraid I could not resist. But thank you kindly for the assist. These musical minions will be terrific. So long as I can think of a suitable lyric. Yes, my musical message may be subliminal. But I'll soon be Gotham's greatest criminal. Other villains will be filled with jealousy as the world dances to my malicious melody. Ha, 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 the what is it, Link? All right, we unlock the Music Meister. I know it's a Lego game, but still, you know, I'd like a little bit of quality with it. If you're gonna go out and do something, I mean, add add a little pizzazz to it. Like, they could have done something where, uh, they could have turned off the music for the game, for one, for a brief second. You know, kind of like how in Ace Attorney they shut off the music, so, like, you know that you're, like, on to something. That way, I mean, it would have been better to have, like, uh, the, the backup singers do something. So let's get the gold brick here. Link is here. I wish Rocksteady got to make their Superman game. There was no Superman game that Rocksteady... They pitched an idea, but um, they never had any development for a Superman game. Their idea got smacked down so fast. There was another company that was working on the Superman game. It's possible they might be doing a Superman... The only way that you guys will get a Superman game now, if I'm being completely honest, is if um, the Superman movie next year does well. If the Superman movie bombs the way Superman Returns did, you're not going to get a Superman game anytime soon. Like, I will be 50 by the time you get a Superman video game. I'm just letting you know. Because Warner Brothers are creatures of habit. No matter who is running Warner Brothers, they always do the same thing. If something is popular, they will milk it. If something fails, they get skittish and they abandon it. So the reason why we haven't had an Injustice game is because the Justice League movie failed. Injustice 2 came out before the Justice League, uh, just before the Justice League movie. But if you think about it, there hasn't been another Injustice game since. And we're going on seven years since Injustice 2. That's because Warner Brothers, they get very skittish about stuff. Now, the thing that's weird, though, is the last Batman game they made, Arkham Knight, was a success. But they canceled at least three Arkham games. I don't know why they got gun-shy. It doesn't make any sense, because Arkham was successful. Even Arkham Knight was very successful. It sold, like, 10 or 12 million copies within the first, like, five months. That's a success. But the fact that they just completely ignored the franchise afterwards, I mean, if they were really about milking money... They literally had a smoking gun, and they let the gun fade. I just... It doesn't make any sense to me. 
Like, from a marketing standpoint, it was one of the dumbest, dumbest things that Warner Brothers did. And you could argue, well, they were in transition from another company, and they, you know, Rocksteady didn't even know if they were going to be chopped up and sold off. It's like, yeah, you have some reasoning with that is correct. But at the same time, um, both AT&T, when AT&T owned it, and it was Time Warner, they knew the Arkham franchise was very lucrative. And when uh, David Zaslav bought Warner Brothers, he knew that the Arkham franchise was very important. So why in the world did they just let those franchises die so they could experiment with the Suicide Squad and Gotham Knights that were both commercial failures? You know, as a backup, they should have had an Arkham gun or Arkham game in the oven, just in case. That way they could have made back some of their profits a little bit, like the following year. But... I don't know. It, it really feels like a lot of these people that are doing business are idiots. Because they don't really understand what they have here. Same thing with the LEGO games. It's been now six years since the last LEGO DC superhero game. Can you believe that? No mobile game. No PC game. Nothing. All we've had for the Justice League was a game made by um, Outright Games, which was an okay game, I guess. It was kind of like a kid version of Diablo. It was a dungeon crawler. We covered it on the channel a few years ago. It wasn't terrible, mind you. But, you know, it really didn't have that same quality. Did I, take a wrong turn? I think it brought back Diedrich Batter as Batman, though. I don't remember the voice cast in it. They weren't really all that famous, I don't believe. And you only played as three characters in that game anyway. You had um, people who came and they did, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? They were like cameo characters. Kind of like the Brave and the Bold um, DS game where you would summon uh, people to help you out as helpers. You had like a few main characters you played as and then you had like these helper characters. But yeah, they've really kind of let the Batman brand just kind of fizzle a little bit where they could have easily capitalized on it. Yeah, you. You look like the table boy. Yeah, will you? Come on. How long does it take to bypass some security? All right, so that door would definitely be in there by now. Amateur. There's Superman game shows in the Suicide Squad game. Eh, maybe a little bit, Isaiah. I, I don't know. I still say the jury's out on that. Linky, I can't get to the time codes with you sitting like that, buddy. Hidden brick. Should we use the music maestro? Music. Is it the music minstrel or music maestro? Meister. Why did I say maestro? I don't require tricks or swords. All I need are my power cords. Wait, he can't use mind control? Really? I thought he used mind control. Huh. Who wants to hear a riddle? <laughs> now the Riddler's been using mind control since the very first Lego Don't Batman you ever game. Get tired of making things too easy for me? Oh, I don't feel so good. Ah, good work, buddy. Normally Ethel would have dealt with the security before I even got here. She's a little under the weather today. Well, that's supposed to be the Jim Carrey version. Here's a safe. Now, how do we... Oh, up there. Do you have anything that can reach that? Music Meister. Can't use mind control. Yep. That's weird that he can't use mind control. <sighs> Alright guys, um, I know there's a problem with the likes, but try to do your best to get the likes up if you can. Um, that way we can continue to have the views of the video grow. We're um, 24 minutes into the stream. And we're almost at 80, I believe. Alright, so now they want us to be... Where's my sidekick character? Oh. We don't want Harley, we want Deadshot. Is there two versions of Deadshot they give us? No, just the one. The man who never misses isn't about to start today. 
The man who never misses. Except when he shoots at Batman. <laughs> uh, I'm just saying. This island is good for fishing, is it not? So I don't seem to have the tools we need. You know, Ethel? Well, normally she would have the tools. I don't suppose you can open this. Um, my saves were returned actually a little while ago, but I don't have six hours to unlock the Joker. Like, it's not like I can live stream it to unlock the Joker, and I just... I don't know. I don't really like what they did with the character at all. Like, me covering the game would just be constantly making fun of it. I mean, if that's something people want to see, that's one Ethel thing, but this. I really don't have He's six hours to unlock the character. Yellow, blue, uh, orange, and... and also, Amber doesn't want me to tr um, do it because, like, over the past, like, two months, I bought Luther bucks that I never got, so I'm out $100. Like, I bought the season pass. I bought... Come on, buddy. Yeah. Sarah, Amber, Amber's hello. protesting. She's like, until Warner Brothers or Rocksteady refunds us, we're not covering the game. Yeah, I got my save back. Yep. But I still, like, I have no Luther dollars. Um, I have no season pass. It doesn't say that I have the season pass. Um... It's all messed up still. Like, it's... It's just like it was before, like... When I... Basically, when I bought the season pass, that's when it erased my save file. Or at least it made my save file disappear or something. It, it got an error. Where it started me over at the very beginning. And then, like... Um, when I completed the... The tutorial again, it... It didn't bring me to where I was... On the Bane world or whatever multiverse I was in, it literally started me all over again. So I raced the game completely, and then I reloaded, or somehow when I reinstalled the game again, my save file came back. But all the Joker information was gone. So I mean, I'm not messing with it anymore. It's it's broken. Um, I requested that both Sony and Rocksteady give me a refund for the funds that were spent in the Luther coins that I never received. Um, whether or not they do that, I don't know. I don't think they will. Why Cyborg? I don't have Cyborg, do I? Oh, I have Cyborg. Because he's Cyborg. Uh, what? Wait, what did that do? Huh? What just happened? Who shot me? Did you shoot me, Riddler? Stop that. Um, what's the order? Are there any clues what the order is anywhere? You see any clues, Link? I don't see any clues. I don't see any color codes. Goki, you're getting roasted for what? Maybe yellow? Okay, that was right this time? That was not right. Yellow's correct. Try blue. Blue is correct. Okay, try purple. Yellow, blue. Nope. Purple's not. So, yellow. Blue. Let's try the one next to it. And then purple. Ta-da! Ethel is going to be so impressed I did this on my own. She always said I'd be lost without her. Oh, by the way, use your fair share since you did help me out a little. Well, I'd best hurry back to Ethel now. I promised I'd pick up some soup on the way home. 
Later days, buddy. Wait, could he always do that? Also, they made him play basketball, but um, Cyborg is a football player. I'm just saying. Cyborg's supposed to be a football player. No, he doesn't play every store, uh, every sport. Um, where is uh? I lost Harley. Oh, we'll go back to being Sinestro because we're gonna fly around anyway. Nothing can stop the power of fear. Nothing stops the power of fear. Is this the uh, gold brick I was looking for? Once again, proof that fear is the greatest. Hey, that was the gold brick I was looking for. Awesome. Okay, cool. All right. Uh, we could go for the gold brick on the way to Metropolis. Why don't we do that? Because then we're going to the museum. Unless the museum is in Gotham. I don't remember where the museum is. I can't recall where the museum is. I'm guessing it's Metropolis. Metropolis would make more sense. Alright, so we got a gold brick here. I mean, Teen Titans Go is funny, but Teen Titans OG is superior. It's better storytelling and animation. But I mean, Teen Titans Go is a parody of all that. It has its moments. Open this up and see all the loot inside. And obviously, it you know it gets the ratings because they haven't canceled it yet. Cartoon Network usually cancels shows pretty quickly if they don't do well. I mean, look at Young Justice. Young Justice didn't even have a chance to breathe. You know when they canceled it outright. Wasn't really fair. What the heck is this line here? Whoa. Well, who can operate the crane? My powers cannot take care of this. Such nonsense. Uh, I'm going to lift the dock up? What do you think you're doing? No way. Huh? I don't... I don't understand this one at all. You want me to... lift something up over here? Maybe the brick is inside of the... I'm not seeing a brick in there, though. Oh, I see. So we can actually use Batman's uh, Batarang. Movie Batarang Batman. Movie Batman. There it is. And Ben Affleck, Batman doesn't say anything. He doesn't talk at all. Okay, so let's go back to being uh, Harley Quinn so she can get banter with what's-his-face. And off to Metropolis we go for the Museum of Natural History. You know what? No. We'll do uh, Raven. So, what dark forces have brought me Just here today? Fun to talk to Raven. Okay, so where are we heading? You better start putting that all back right now. Hello? The museum is not in Gotham, is it? It is not. No, it's not. <laughs> Why are you taking me through Chinatown? Oh, 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 oh. that was close. Oh, it really is. Where did I hide my loot? I 
know it's around here somewhere. Ah! I was wrong. Never mind. Hmm. I thought it was going to be a metropolis for some reason. Dirty after I hit it. I remember that. Now, where the heck is Harley? There we go. For some reason, I remember it spelled nice where I hit it. Who is talking? Wow, it actually was in uh, in Gotham City. That's crazy. So when we get out of the museum, uh, once we have Black Adam, we're gonna nab the uh, nab the gold brick that's in this area and continue doing some free roam stuff. All right, cool. Hmm, that should be enough. Now, let's make our way inside and find Black Adam. Hmm. Right, let's enter the museum. Yes. Not to mention... Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, ready. He's not reporting on this crime wave, Jimmy, which is really odd for a reporter with his credentials. Ken Clarkson? Where did he work before coming here to the planet? According to his resume, he's been all over the world looking for the most exciting stories. Yet when alternate dimension heroes descend on Gotham and Metropolis and fail to keep up the standards of the Justice League, he misses out on the details. You know, some people exaggerate their resumes. Clarkson is definitely not what he seems. But that's not what's important right now. Let's focus on this crime wave, Jimmy. If Clarkson won't report it, we will. Museum's closing. No more learning for you today. Off you go. I still don't see why we have to sneak around. If we set off the alarms, the building will lock down. And those crime syndicate creeps might show up. <laughs> I, Sinestro, fear nothing. Except, maybe, long silences. Hmm. Well, I don't want to give them fake heroes any more publicity oh. at my expense. <clears throat> the coast is clear! Let's go! <clears throat> That's where we need to be! All the Kandak stuff's in there! I don't want to know what part of it we were in. Oh. <sighs> Okay, silly smile squad. There's our way in. Let's go! <laughs> that unsuspecting fool of a security guard doesn't know what fate awaits him. Night at the museum. Remember what we talked about. We don't do nothing that'll get the attention of the Justice Syndicate. Yeah, the last thing we need are those lousy good-for-nothings showing up. Gotta be a way to get past the guards real quiet-like. <gasps> oh, I know just the thing. Let's see if the parts I need are around here. Nope. I don't know, but we almost dropped down to 900 for hourly views, too, even though we've got, like, uh, 90 people watching. It doesn't make any sense. It's, it's, uh, very, very peculiar. <laughs> It's very strange. Um, but uh, thank you guys for the super chats, especially Isaiah, that helps out tremendously. A little even uh, goes a long way, so thank you very much. I hate to ruin this gift shop, but I need the studs, so I'm going to ruin the gift shop. Sorry, gift shop. Yeah. I feel bad because I've, I've learned to appreciate gift shops when I go to things like museums and aquariums and things like that. They're fun. They're overpriced, mind you, but they're fun. Destroy. Pain? Oh, no, I don't... 
no, I, I can't do the Joker. The only way I would do the Joker DLC if I could pay the $10 to unlock him. They they put him behind a six-hour, like, random nonsense thing to unlock him. Like, and the next DLC character, they'll do the same thing. I don't have that kind of time to invest in a mid-game. That'd be like having to go through the Gotham Knight stuff and like, oh my gosh, in order to, to play as Robin or Nightwing or something like that, you'd have to play like almost like seven or eight, nine hours of the game or something. It, it's just, it's ludicrous. And the fact that their season pass thing doesn't work, and I'm not the only one that it's happened to, though. Like, there are a lot of people that complain on forums that they've paid for content in the Suicide Squad game and it's never showed up. So I'm not the only one. I'm the only YouTuber that I know that's had problems with the game, but I'm not the only consumer. It's just bad luck. But Sony's been having problems for a while because we had the same problem happen with I really wanted to show more of that Tekken game. I'm still bummed I couldn't play as Eddie because I heard Eddie's a great character, but he's not on my system. No matter how many times I reinstall the game or whatever, he doesn't show up ever. It's very frustrating because I think Tekken 8 is a great game, personally. But apparently people are having problems with the Xbox version of Tekken as well, so I mean, I don't know. Mm. Whoops. Okay, so I could blow that up if I want. Inside the museum. Yeah, I know, Amber. Inside lobby? You unlock Joker? That's awesome, John. I'm gonna need some support in place to help me deal with this. Now, right now I'm trying to collect studs. Yeah, I know, Amber. Is it coming from your tummy region or Okay, that's cons Okay. Well, that's good. Okay, a little more. If, I mean, I'd have to wake you up to do it. I don't know. Was that, is that your sleep shirt or is that your, like, okay. Alright, so I need to do this. Was that like a, oh, that's a sarcophagus. Creepy. Probably. So we need to find the stuff to make the laughing toxin. Come on, guys. We're uh, 44 minutes in and still under 100 likes. I, I know that, again, there's problems with the uh, likes and shares today, but let's still try to do our best. Try to help this stream out as best we can. 
This will be no problem for the clown prince of the It's been eight away for a while. It's been at 90 for the past like 10, 12 minutes. But at least from what I saw in the corner of my eye. Pull, Joker, pull! Whoops. Collect those studs, they disappear. Collect them, collect them! I'm obsessed with supervillain status. Hello, chat. How is everyone? Thank you, Jessica, for keeping the likes up. Appreciate that. Thank you, Jessica. Alright, guys, we're five away. in here and the more people we get in here the more those people can like yeah, the faster we get the, the likes up the better the video does I don't know why that's the case it just is you'd think watch time would be the thing but no. oh I know what those are those are security gates so if you walk through them they beep or they're supposed to beep thank you for the gifted membership Isaiah we appreciate it buddy we're almost up to 300 members again. Thank you. Mm. Alright, thank you so much, Isaiah. Appreciate that so much. What is that? Oh, that's one of those candy dispenser thingies. That's what that was. Hi, uh... Everyone, hi Nostalgia Way, hi Daffy. Oh no, that beeps no matter what. Thank you, Isaiah, for the gifted membership. Hi Misty <coughs> Dolphin. Hi Jade Rose. Hi Silver Sonic. No. Hi Jacob Langlet. Hi Don Dantio seventy one AKA Akira. Hi J D. Hi Dark Side. Hi Jason. We um, only need one more. Hi Jessica. Thank you for this uh, highlighted message, John Raymond. I unlocked Joker. I'm trying the plat. I'm trying to platinum the game. Awesome, John Raymond. Good for you. That sounds amazing. Um, congratulations on um. I, I wish you the best with that, John. Thank you. Thank you, Isaiah, for the gift of membership. Really appreciate that. Thank you, John Raymond, for being a member for 15 months. All right. So we're collecting laughing gas. So the next thing that we need to do is probably this over here. What? Who? Who's supposed to be the person over here? Clayface? Ah, Clayface. Oh, hi, Sharon. You're breathtaking. Thank you. Oh, I don't hear any Harley. beeping. <laughs> what beeping? I don't hear any beeping. That beeping is annoying. I don't hear any beeping. Are you talking about the um, security alarm? Oh, in the game? There is a... Um, I don't know if necessarily if it's, it's beeping. There is a... Um, uh, what do they call that? A metal detector at the door. Yeah, no, I'm sorry, guys. I have, like... I don't know what is going on with me, honestly. Like, I have about ten different pains, like, at once. And they're, like, really bad. So, I'm, I'll try to be on this episode, and then I'll, I'll go to sleep, maybe. Mm. Is that okay? Mm hmm Literally, when we moved six months ago... Or when we had to move all our stuff out of our basement and our landlord was crazy, the first landlord saga. My shoulder literally, something ripped in it. And I don't really have a lot of days off to go to the doctor or time to go. And like, my shoulder has been like hurting. Hmm. What? Are you talking about that for me or that? Oh no, they're, they're making me do something. So yeah. I don't understand why that was a thing. Right, so we'll finish making the laughing gas. Hee 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 ho ho. Ha ha hee hee. Ho, Time ho, to ha, put a ha, little ha. smile on that poor security guard. Ah, he did a uh, Dark Knight line, except he changed it up a little bit. 
Mm. So I'm going to put a smile on that face. But instead of saying that, he says, I'm going to put a smile on that security mm. guard's face. I'm sorry you're in pain too, Richard. I'm sorry. Yeah, but you're right, Game Wing. I mean, they told me at the doctor that I was talking too much. And that was what was making my jaw. I don't know what was. I'm sorry for talking too much. You're fine. So I'm going to stop talking about it and just enjoy the game. <laughs> Another satisfied audience. How do you do it, Mr. J? Oh, Harley. You know it's all in the delivery. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness. Goodness. If you two are about done, we still got a magical tomb to raid. All right, so we're going to the next section. Magical, or pff, sorry, the laughing gas is done. I hate that I destroyed the museum, though, pretty much. Like, the museum had so much stuff in it, and I broke everything in order to get the studs. But, I mean, if you're going to get the studs, you have to break everything. But now it's like the museum is just so barren, it has nothing inside of it anymore. Except for shiny floors, that's it. Sorry to hear that, Game Wing. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'll be all right. I'm just, I'm just explaining that's kind of where it was. Oh, he sends us up to the guard. Whoops. No, I, I, think, I need you to come. I think once I go, go to sleep tonight, I think I'll be a little better. I hope so. There we go. Oops. Ah, well done, Joker. What I don't understand is, prior to the scene, Joker says that he has to go do something so he won't be around. And yet... In the very next scene, he's hanging out with Sinestro and Harley again because he tells Harley to take Sinestro to the museum because he has something he needs to do. And then you never see him actually run that errand. So maybe they just forgot to put that in the game. I don't know. Yeah, it's possible. I hope you guys are all having a nice night. Anything else here to break? He can't use tech? That doesn't make any sense. Alright, um, Clayface. I had planned all week to go to the, the, um, the park today, and even though I was in pain, I went anyway. So I was proud of myself. I pr pressed through it or whatever. There were some geese there. I was actually, I actually was walking towards the geese on my path, and then I noticed they were really big, like... One of the geese looked like it could come up almost to like my waist or a little bit higher, mm -hmm. and I was a little nervous. So like once I got within four feet of the geese, I walked the other way, <laughs> and I walked back and waited till the geese was gone, and then I goose was gone, and then I went back. Then I was blocked in by another goose on the other side when I was Ow. coming back the other way in the path. Yeah. And then I waited. I just, I just. I didn't want to look the geese in the eye or anything and have it attack me. Can you imagine me getting attacked by a geese that was like... Like, the geese are like almost three and a half feet tall, if not four. Like, they're pretty intensely big. Mm -hmm. Well, it wouldn't bother you. You're a lot taller. That's almost my height. Can you imagine that, like, thing ripping into my flesh with its bill? Wow, Amber, that's... Stabbing me over and over again. No, 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 that's dark. Don't do that. All right, guys, we're almost at the hour mark. Let's get those likes up. That's what I was imagining. No, that's disturbing, even for you. I had flashes of something. I was it's like, difficult well, to imagine I'm anything of such sweet. immense power being contained in such an ordinary museum. Hey, there ain't no better hiding place than in plain sight, pal. Take it from someone who knows. Oh. Oh, we don't have him. That's for free play. So we're we're in the Egyptian exhibit now. Sharon says geese can attack you, Amber. Yeah, I figured that, Sharon. I made sure I was not within four feet of them. I was very cautious. That is dark, Amber says dark side. Spell exhibit. 
Hey Amber, I got a new trucking job. I start Monday with a company called Swift. Awesome, Isaiah. Very cool. Good job. Feels like they cut something out of the game and then forgot to remove that line to Silver Sonic. Nah, that's fine. I mean, they they went and they added so much content in this. Like the storytelling is still very well done. Like if there's a little things missing here and there, it's not a big deal. All right. Mm -hmm. 100 likes. Great job, everyone. Thank you, guys. All right, guys. Let's try to get 120 in the next 15 minutes to make up for an hour of, uh, almost an hour just to hit 100. But the good news is the views started to move again now that the likes went up. Okay, I'm just breaking everything in this museum. Dark Hammer's better than... Hey, yeah, I'm back. Hi, Nassau Joey. I'm okay with it, says Game Wing. <laughs> I'm just, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to so descriptively, but that's what I'm, I imagine myself, like, trying to run and the geese, like, uh, uh, flying over, attacking me, and again and again with its bill into my leg and different parts of my body with, like, oh red my gosh. stuff coming out oh, everywhere. All right, that's the... Uh... <laughs> and then disturbing. I was just like, I didn't mean to look at you wrong, please, stop. You're killing me. <laughs> There's an army of them, they're like a gang. Mm. They flock together for a reason, it's because, because they're strength in numbers. Yeah, remember tomorrow we have to go do the bank job. I know that. That's gonna be fun. use a little edge to slice it. Yeah, I keep writing the hashtag wholesome gaming whenever I whenever I advertise our Lego stream sometimes. Interesting. Maybe I need to take that out of there. Wow. <laughs> Just this stream. Yeah, you can't use the tag family friendly anymore, but there is such a thing as wholesome gaming. I've started to use that hashtag again. A little bit. But I, I don't put it in the tags. Yeah. Because, you know, if if channels are still being audited by the, uh, um, who was it doing? It wasn't the F, who was, FTC, Federal Trade Commission was the one to do the audits. And the Egyptian exhibit. This must be it. We'll need to direct a source of light through that amulet and into Black Adam's sarcophagus for it to open. Ooh, sounds like someone's been paying attention. Ah, show off. <laughs> oh, good. The stunt team just arrived. Hope you know how to fall. All right, so we're close to unlocking Black Adam now. We're inside of the Egyptian exhibit. Thanks, Savon and Richard. I appreciate that. Oh, thanks, guys. I'm just gonna destroy everything until I get my superhero status. Ah, uh, supervillain status. Bank job. That kind of sounds a little bit sus, says Richard. Yeah, no. Sorry. Uh, don't forget the masks for the bank job, Amber. Wow. <laughs> Can you believe it's practically perfectly legal to walk into a bank with masks on? Until they decide to take that away. Yeah, it's still law, so... Medical mask. You can't walk in with a ski mask. I'll take care of this. I doubt it. Just you watch. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Although, during the pandemic, people were using ski masks. And whatever they could find. People were using whatever they could find because they thought that any type of face covering would help, but it really didn't. Yeah. Medical masks work because, I mean, if they didn't, doctors wouldn't wear them. But using a, you know, regular, like, I saw people wearing socks and buckets on their heads and all kinds of stuff. Like, it was just. <laughs> I don't know. I would have liked to see somebody with a paper bag on their face. Like eye holes or something. The reason why you know surgical masks work is because even Japanese, like, civilians wear them when they're walking around. Yeah. And they they actually, you know, the flu is very, very potent in um, Japan. 
Like, they have, they have more people die from the flu than we do. Which is weird because, like, we don't wash our hands as much as they do in Japan. In fact, they their greeting is not even one that is about touch. They bow at each other. Yeah. Um, Japanese are very cleanly. They wash their hands more than the, we do. They bathe more than... They, they bathe every day. Like, their bathing is different. Ooh. Um, they, they wash and then they, they bathe. Yeah, I know what you mean. No, like they, sometimes, some of them take a shower in the morning and then a bath at night. But hygiene, hygiene is 100% part of their culture. Like, they always, they always wash, they wash their hands like seven times a day. I, maybe, maybe they get the flu more because they're overworked. No, I've heard the flu strain in Japan and Asia is much stronger than the one in the U.S. It's always been like that, though. The flu is very deadly in other parts of the world compared to um, some parts of the world. It just is. But also, yeah, they do work a lot. There are a lot of people that die from exhaustion in Japan. It's not just an anime trope where a character comes home and they drop dead. There are literally people in their 20s who can die from just, like, working, like, so many hours. It's just, you know. They they work very very hard. They work too hard though. But there's the thing that I've known about Japanese people because I have Japanese friends is how they've explained it to me is like there is they're super um what's the word I'm looking for? They're very dedicated to what they do and they don't have middle ground. There's either all in or not all in. There's no there's no like middle area. There's no, I just work here. Right. Like, whatever they do, <laughs> they, they put 110% in. And what happens is, is, like, you know, sometimes they think that they can accomplish something that their body is just not able to. Like, they they overextend what their bodies are capable of. I know. <laughs> there are other cultures like that. Yep. I was, uh, well, I don't know if it's related, but I was, I watched this, um, YouTube couple, and he's American, and she's from Africa, mm -hmm. and she's a mom of, like, three or four people, and she ended up fainting because she overworked herself because she's used to taking care of all the kids, like, she makes homemade food and everything, and she would, like, you know, s like, stitch up their clothes, go grocery shopping, take care of all the kids' stuff. And she'd be, like, sitting there cooking all day, standing on her feet, and she literally fainted from taking care of her kids. She overexerted herself. Um. Is this mirror, is this a mirror, or is this, like, some type of switch? Looks like we got a super chat, but I can't see it. I, I can't tell. I didn't get a notification. Oh, right. I see orange now. Thank you, Thank you John. John. Sorry about that, John. The uh, our equipment's a little delayed, buddy. Thank you very much, John. That helps out tremendously with revenue for the channel today. Well, I think there are some cultures that are just used to like working, like pushing themselves harder than others. No, I think I'm having an issue today because I'm seeing like a lot of blurred vision. Luckily, the game I'm playing after this is like, um, it's an older game, so there's not a lot of text. Wait, why am I destroying everything again if I already have supervillain status? Uh, I don't know why I'm doing that. Black Adam Chamber. Whoops. King's Chamber. Call it that. It's supposed to deflect the light, says Dark Side. A mirror, says Richard. Mirror. Yeah, it's a, it's a mirror. Jason. It's a mirror. Mirror says Game Wing. Mirror says Sharon. So we have to do the um, Indiana Jones thing. Pretty much. <laughs> yeah, definitely. That's always a good thing, Imperator Penguin. Washing your. I mean, almost. I mean, I think in Japan. I think. In Japan, it's more like people wash their hands when they come inside from outside. It's more like, oh, you're outside, you're in the elements, okay, you're gonna wash your hands now. Or like, you're outside, I'm outside in pollution, I'm gonna wear a mask. I think it's like, okay, normal hygiene, but then more so. 
Mm -hmm. I feel like. Well, they actually did a study before the pandemic in this country. Very few people washed their hands, according to like actual medical study, which was terrifying. Well, especially when we told people, like, we were like, ninety-seven percent of viruses can be um, taken care of with just washing your hands regularly, and people laughed at us, and we were like, "What? But, it's, it's but true. what? This is actually true. Like, nurses tell you this. Like, this is so important." Yeah, because the germs, what happens is the germs sit on your hands. This is a germ, germ phobic guy, because I, I have phobias of germs, especially when I was in the hospital so much and the nurses were telling me all kinds of stuff. I definitely developed a fear of germs. Um, which is why even before the pandemic, I washed my hands like four times a day. Um, what happens is what people don't realize they forget is they get so busy with life that they completely forget that, you know, the germs are sitting on your hands, like all this, like... Yeah, like everything you touch, doorknobs... Everything you've touched, bill, exactly. Like, so, the dollar bills, everything you did. And then, when you go to eat, you're putting all those germs and stuff into your body. Which is going to cause you, either if you have a great immune system, or it's going to make you very sick. Like, it's going to start to whittle down um, the soldiers in your body. Like your, you know, your, uh, <laughs> white blood cells and stuff like that. Yeah, they are your soldiers. You're you're gonna put them. You're, you're gonna put your soldiers through a lot of work. Um, so, the best course of action that you can do is just wash your hands before every meal. Like, you know. Yeah, like what we learn in culinary is some viruses cannot even be killed even with heat. Mm -hmm. But even though you can't kill the viruses on your hands all the time, you can wash the viruses down I, the drain. I, I did it. It's true. So the viruses can't necessarily always be killed, but if you wash your hands with soap and water, you actually put the viruses down the drain, and then it's somebody else's problem. Mm. And then just don't drink that sewage water, and you'll be fine. Whoa! Why ain't it working? Yeah, I thought we'd be knee deep in rabbits and playing cards by now. I want magic. Of course, the magic words. Wait, there it is. Sure, Sam. I, Black Adam, am free! I'm sure I can get through those walls. But can you get through me? Shazam! Shazam? <laughs> Leave this to me! Abracadabra! Huh? Yes! I'm here to help. I'm a big fan of your work. You're just in time to see me clean their clocks. What is he doing here? Are you with them? Those curs? Never. I, Mazas, come from Earth 3 to fight all evil. Surely you don't mean her. This woman has become one of our Earth's greatest heroes. And I should know, being one myself. Oh, yes, that's right. I'm a hero now. So, uh, why don't you take care of these guys for me and we'll catch up later? Great idea. Oh, of course. Okay, bye then. Whoa, teaming up with the Earth 3 version of me? That's totally, uh, interesting. Yep, there'll be time to explain later. For now, we have business to take care of. It matters not. Their puny alliance will only mean a greater victory. To mark my return to this world. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Ow! I'm trying to throw lightning bolts at him, but it. Oh, there it is. You, got, you can only attack the Shazam character that doesn't have a force field around him. So basically, they tag in. Ugh, these guys are the worst. Let's show them if we can. Very well. I Thank you, Isaiah, for the gifted membership again. Really helps out tremendously. Hero of all time. We're almost a, uh, crossing over into uh, 300 members again. Thank you for all your efforts with that. Thank you so much, Isaiah. Appreciate that so Quickly, much. Thank you. We must combine our forces. I cannot lose. Ow. Yeah, you would think we if he drilled into people's heads, Let's uh, try that again, silver sonic, but apparently people, especially in this country, have become so lax. Uh, 
That's that's not it. Especially on their lunch break too. Like they just eat, they just like touch dirt and then eat their sandwich. That's break. that's not the reason. It's not that Americans are are lazy. It has to do with um how busy people get. They forget. And also like in school, they're taught that when they're inoculated for certain things. Yeah. They think that because they go and they get shots to go into school and all this other stuff, that those shots are going to prevent them from getting sick and getting, like, the flu and, you know, other, like, diseases they can, they can pick up from, like, you know, certain bacteria and stuff when... There's actually always another disease that you can get. There's lots of things... You can't be inoculated for everything. No, you can't be... Uh, you can't get um, inoculated or you can't get, like, um... Uh yearly shots that'll prevent everything like the the best thing that you can do is to just wash your hands like every day we almost if, had it. especially Let's after you eat again, or before you eat before you eat I, mean, I, couldn't, I mean i don't want to get this dark but like i i couldn't believe when i learned in culinary that there are certain diseases you can get from certain types of shellfish that are just like you will never recover from that. and there's no yeah, you learned a lot of scary stuff when you were in culinary. And then you shared it with me. I don't even know why you did that. You came home, you were disturbed, and you're like, Luke, I need to talk about this. It's like, why? It's like, you have to make sure you get the clams from the right area. And that one, like, seven years ago, you told me I wasn't able to use WebMD anymore, and then you came home from culinary. And you were telling me all these, like, types of, like, if I don't cook this meat correctly, I'm going to give you salmonella. And you'll probably die from it because there's no cure for this yeah, type I don't of poison. Know how this could have happened. Yeah. Oh man! Looks like it's up to me. Wait, I thought we already defeated Shazam. Oh no, we didn't. He's got full hearts. That's not fair. Now, don't don't do that, Brandon Routh. I don't know if you're being sarcastic or not, Koki. Mm. What? Koki said, yeah, the Americans' productivity is... Workers' productivity is through the roof. <laughs> I'm, I'm guessing this is sarcastic. Yeah. I, I was Done? trying to get people to benefit well, the doubt. Who was trying to be nice? I'm he was not. trying to say that people were working hard. I was trying to... Trying to say you're doing great, America. Let's go. No, I I know the truth. I was just trying to be nice to my own I, people. I, it's like interesting when I watch well. an anime and people are on like there's a lull in customers. Everyone's cleaning and they're like working hard and they're trying to clean their entire shop and waiting for the next customer. Mm -hmm. And you go into an American place, like even yesterday, like I was just going to the grocery store and it's like actually no, this morning I was there. And it's like they had a lull in customers and they were just sitting there talking away, like not doing anything. It was just like, oh my god. You think I'm done? Well, I got bad news for you. I'm not! I'm not! So that's Brandon Routh uh, playing Shazam. See, I'm always the person that's always wiping stuff down. Regards to the rock of eternity. Katunga. That felt most satisfying. How's it going, Houdini? So, we're putting a team of super bad guys together to take down another team of super bad guys. <laughs> Interested? That does not concern me, clown person. Oh, well, how about this? If you don't help us, we'll put you back where we found you. Ah, uh, very well. I agree. But can we stop for drive through I haven't eaten for an eternity. <laughs> All right, so Black Adam... Oh, that was known as Fight at the Museum. Instead of Night at the Museum, it's Fight at the Museum. Um, okay. Instead of Night at the Museum. It's fight at the museum. I got him free. Uh, 
dun 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 Oh, no red brick. Missed the spray paint stuff. So you get two two gold bricks, so that means two gold bricks left. Classified, Legion of Doom. Da 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 da. So Black Adam was unlocked. Shazam unlocked, but you need to pay for all that's, these guys. That's their base, though, isn't it? Mm, yeah, I believe so. Hi, folks. The Justice Syndicate needs your help. The recent break-in at Gotham Museum is thought to be linked to local villains trying to track down alien artifacts for no good purposes, obviously. So keep them peeled and call in if you find or see anything out of the ordinary. Anything. Ultraman, more like ultra stupid. <laughs> Do you think maybe asking all this Earth's fools to call us about anything odd looking might be a bad idea? I mean, really? You might have a point there, Johnny. Well, your helpers got stuck in a cosmic rock and allowed Black Adam to escape. What? First power ring, and now you? This Earth's villains are not playing nice. Every time we beat them, it keeps the normals believing our cover story. We need that in place to carry on the search. Says you! I say we find these villains and show them who runs this planet now! Don't forget, this world has been promised to us when we find the artifact. I've had enough of this hero bilge. Being good is so boring. Oh, what's that, Nippy? Mmm, interesting. Excellent. Looks like it's time for a voyage. Suppose we should be getting back to our base. Indeed, my dear. Uh, sure, we'll run ahead. See you guys back at the base. For some reason, I remember it's... Okay, back to collecting gold bricks. So Shazam and uh, Black Adam are now a team. Back in Gotham. Now, right as you exit the museum, there is a gold brick. I'm gonna find out about that. Yeah, I mean, that's true, Isaiah. If you sanitize... If you never have any germs in your system at all, then your body doesn't know how to defend it against them. They're not used to it, so... I mean, it does kind of build up your immune system to have some germs. That's for that's true. Well, I mean, even washing your hands doesn't but, prevent stuff like a hundred percent. It's but, only like ninety percent. However, that is true. But like when there's like a crazy, yeah, it depends. My on, powers cannot I mean, take care of this. <sighs> Such nonsense. Like. Ooh. Mm. That's true, but... Wait, what is that? I am... Why do they have scorpions? See, I'd have to ask somebody. I don't have a lot of Chinese friends, so... Why do they sell scorpions? I mean, they're probably eating them. Probably eat scorpions? Maybe. They eat scorpions in some cultures, I think. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. This is supposed to be Chinatown. I don't know. I've never been to China before. I wish I had. Alright, so where is this gold brick located? I don't know where that is. Oh, the rock is in the game. No, he's not. Oh, LOL, so sounds like gaming. Oh, you mean Black Adam. Oh, yeah. Oh, Poison I Ivy. My powers are always growing. Any Wait. bugs in Thailand? Um, um... Sharon, that's cool. Zatanna, then? Um, what Disney shows have I watched? Um, I was actually gonna get rid of Disney Plus. I don't know. I haven't really watched any Disney shows in a long time. I'm getting rid of Disney Plus uh, next month after uh, X Men 97 is over. Yeah, so I can't think of any Disney shows I've actually watched. I watched the last one I started to watch was The Mandalorian. Let the hunt begin. I tried to watch some of the Marvel shows, but I didn't really... After three or four 
they were all five episodes long, and after the third episode of each one, I didn't like it anymore. They always hook you in with nostalgia, and then they twist it to make it some weird, weird take that they're doing. And then by the end of the show, it's not fun anymore. Um, the Moon Knight was interesting. That was probably the, one of the most inter- but that was kind of dark and disturbing. <coughs> show. But, I mean, um, yeah, the Moon Knight thing was, was dark and disturbing. Oh, that's Etrigan. Uh, Wait, that's not how Etrigan looks. Yeah, I don't know. What Disney shows did you like, Jessica? I haven't really watched a lot of them. That's not Etrigan. Doesn't look like Etrigan at all. Okay. So where is this gold brick supposed to be? Unless they're saying it's inside of the museum. Who eats scorpions? Don't know. Um, probably some people. They were selling it. We're in Chinatown right now, so you can see scorpion is being sold over there. Hmm. I'll deal with this if there are no objections. There it is. That's where the gold brick was. Oh my gosh! I just thought of something. I don't think it's I'm gone. To say. I do know from culinary that they have different regulations with health codes in China than they have in the United States. Yes, they do. And, um, yeah, it's different. That's a nice way of putting it. Alright, so let's, uh, we could do Sinestro. Wait, does Zatanna fly in this? Yeah, she flies. But this is Pants Zatanna, this is not the, um, what do they call it? Uh... Not stage fishnet stockings Zatanna? Yeah, fishnet stockings, that's <laughs> what I was thinking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, so there's another race up here somewhere. <laughs> that was kind of cute in the animated series that Bruce Wayne kind of liked Zatanna a little bit. They were the same age. Uh oh. Well, she was a little younger than him, not by much. So she was, when he came, when he came in his 20s, she was in high school. So when he's in his 40s, she's like 30s. It wasn't that big of an age difference. Hmm, I liked, I watched Loki and the others that came out. I watched the villains of Valley View and some Jesse and the others. Awesome Jessica Blueheart. Very cool. Thanks for answering my question. Yeah, I watched the first couple episodes of Loki, but it, I was getting, uh, I don't know, it just got more, I, I don't know, I guess I thought after uh, Owen Wilson was out of it, then I didn't really like it as much. I cheat, because I can. Whoops. I don't expect you to glide all this stuff. Oh, they don't. They just run through it. Wait, where is the uh, next Oh, one? you're playing as Black Adam right now? I'm playing as Black Adam now, yeah. He has the best superpowers of any superhero. His, Pulling his... lightning down from the sky. That's He's cool. the same as Shazam. Shazam can call lightning down from the sky? Yes. Oh. Literally has the same powers as Shazam. He does? Yes. Oh, wow. They have cool superpowers. Yeah, pretty cool powers. It would have been nice to see more Shazam. I thought The Rock did a pretty good job, but cool. Uh, too, many, too many people with egos in Warner Brothers. Uh, yeah. Too many people with certain stipulations, like, I need my character to do this, or I won't appear unless I look like this. But I mean, The Rock is to blame for, like, why it took so long for Black Adam to show up. He was supposed to show up in the first Shazam movie, he said no. He didn't want his character to be considered a villain at all. But I mean, he did some pretty villainous things in his own movie, so he's kind of a hypocrite. Yeah, I mean, like, I think... Like, literally, he doesn't want his character to be considered a villain when that's how his character began. That's the origin of Black Adam. He was a villain of Shazam. Yeah, I feel like he really wanted it. He wanted to change it a little bit. I think that's what his whole idea But it's kind of his fault that... Black Adam failed though. It's like audience just didn't care. I liked his movie, but 
if they would have seen more Black Adam over time, they could have built up to it. Yeah, I guess it would have been better if, I mean, I mean, Shazam is his nemesis. It is kind of weird that he wasn't in, like, the first couple I mean, they could have just done little teases, you know? Yeah, like, had him sitting here, like... No, when, like, when the wizard, when, in the original storyboard, there was supposed to be a cameo where um, Black Adam shows up, like, being banished by the wizards. In the first Shazam movie, he was going to have his cameo. He wasn't necessarily going to appear, like, fighting oh, yeah. he could um, have just been banished. Zachary Levi, but they were going to introduce uh, him. And then in the second movie, they were going to tease at the possibility of them, like, fighting. They were going to do a cameo where Black Adam shows up and, you know, Billy knows what his third movie was going to be, which was going to be a fight between uh, Black Adam, Superman, think, and him. I think that... I personally think that, in a way, I can understand. I mean, I don't know. I'm just trying to play devil's advocate, I guess. But I'm just like trying to see where The Rock was coming from. But I kind of feel like he kind of saw that WB kind of like push people around with the Josh Whedon, like Justice League and stuff. So he probably didn't want to. He probably wanted to be in charge and be like, "All right, like when I do my movie, everything's gonna be how I say because otherwise you're gonna mess it up, WB." But he kind of, The Rock kind of messed up two franchises, Shazam and Black Adam, oh. though. Mm, Just because he was that. he was being very stubborn about stuff, <laughs> and eventually it kind of led him to being out of a job because there's no his movie didn't succeed. Had his movie succeeded, the Snyderverse probably would have been restored. I don't understand why it didn't succeed. I went to it. It just didn't work. I don't understand. We even got the t-shirt. We, yeah, we did get a t-shirt of Black Adam, that's true. Bruce Wayne's world? What does that mean, Bruce Wayne's world? I don't understand. Inside the W says... Oh, Game inside the W? Thank you, Game Wing. Everyone wants to humanize the villains. It's annoying, says Sons of Gaming. Mm -hmm. I like Dr. Fate in it. Yep, definitely Alpha. Dr. Fate was my favorite character in Black Adam. I mean, I don't think I, I think his whole thing was I mean, I thought I saw him say in an interview, he said I want he said, I want kids that look like me not to see themselves as a villain but as the hero, so he wanted to show he was a hero But he didn't really do a lot of heroic things in Black Adam I mean, in a way, he kind of saved like a kid and his family He saved one person one person. He killed a lot of people in his movie. You know? He was cool, though. It was cool, but I mean, it was a typical rock movie where he shows up, he kicks a lot of butt, and he doesn't really take any nonsense from anybody. I liked when he had the hood on. That that looked really cool. That was based on the new 52 design. That was really kind Both of Both cool. Black Adam and Shazam had hoods. I liked how scary his character was. What's going on, Linky? Yeah, I mean, like, really? I mean, I think there's a lot of people at WB who have a problem compromising, because Zack Snyder didn't want to compromise with the Robin he wanted to kill either, so... Yeah, I know, and that kind of so, led him to being out of a job so, as well. So, you know, so many people at working at WB did not want to compromise their ideas. Ben Affleck was the only one who was willing to compromise some ideas. A little bit. And then they fired him anyway. Yeah. I don't know who who runs WB, but they fire the people that are willing to compromise, and they, you know. Wonder what the boss actually know. wanted. Hmm. I don't know what to say. This looks expensive. I don't know. Whoa. I really looks think that's why nice they try to get younger actors. I heard Wayne has hit another then they can push around them around you. more. You can only see you they can be like, you're 20 years old, you're going to do what we say in Lincoln. Those are rumors say. Mm. You're snag. Oh, okay, now you just There's your snag room. Fancy goggles? Yeah, you right. You get a crumb for a snack. Who's talking in here? Are these League of Assassins? This is... Obviously not worth my time. What are the League of Assassins doing inside of Wayne Enterprises? <laughs> I'm 
Which side of Wayne? <laughs> Maybe maybe look like him not in the jacked way, but in other ways, maybe is what he was saying. <laughs> Goki was saying it. It's weird that he would think there's not that many kids that look jacked. <laughs> hey guys, we're gonna have to. Um, does any mod have the uh, YouTube short link uh, still? Because we got to try to put uh, another 50 or 60 views into the. Um... My gosh. I'm going to send the uh, YouTube short. Actually, you guys already watched that one today. Let's. um... The Mary Jane one didn't do very well. So why, why don't we do the unstoppable one? matter honey we need to find some way of putting we're gonna hit 900 views at nine o'clock right uh guys if you could watch the unstoppable thing the seven of you guys here that'll like breathe some life into the channel we're like right now at 1020 views so we're so close to dropping to 900 for the hour which is really gonna screw up the channel badly very badly a lot of interesting comments on there, people coming out from all the, over the internet, talking about <coughs> stuff people that aren't even viewers of our channel, like we're, we're on that short that you made, being like, yeah, they're like, looking at this, they're like, it's just ridiculous how OP she is, mm -hmm. <laughs> like this doesn't even make any sense. <laughs> yep. Hey, buddy. He was a good boy. This piano looks super fancy. You think it might be hiding something? Like in one of those spy movies? If I bring Batman in, are these ninjas gonna attack me? Oh wow. Ha! Well you look at that? I was right. Woohoo! Well, you know what I would have done? I would have explained to um Dwayne the Rock Johnson, I would have been like, okay, well, even if you come in as a villain at the beginning, you can become a hero during your arc and then people can kids can still look up to you as a hero because was, I'd be like, well, Batman, like, screamed Martha and tried to kill Superman yeah. just because their moms had the same name. Kind of modern. So, I mean, Trust Bruce you're, Wayne you're have a not in the same, statues from the lobby. I mean, you're in the same boat as, as Batman. Hey, here. I wonder. You reckon Wait, this one how can I have two Batman? Things? Get out with a safe behind it. Well, Peter couldn't do it. I was the world was MJ going to do it. I don't know, Sammy. I don't know how the so-called hunters couldn't hear MJ when she was walking around, says Jessica. Yeah. It's kind of funny, though. Did she have, like, stealth vodka or something? The thing that made me lose it, and the reason I made that short to begin with, is the fact that Mary Jane was able to take down one of those death, like, robo-dogs without any problems. That was like, okay, now they're just taking this too far. That's taking it too far. It's like, okay, we get it. You're trying to make Mary Jane appear like this big, hardcore, like, bad mamma jamma, but it's like, this is just beyond. You know what it reminds me of? Dick Tracy movie where he punches one punch and, and then, like, ten guys fall over. Yeah, but <laughs> in that movie, they weren't trying to do it seriously. Yeah, they, it was it supposed was a, to it was be a like joke. a comic book thing. Yeah. It was a comic book joke. Right, exactly. Yeah. It was supposed to be somewhat of a parody. Yeah. But for her, they're actually completely serious. Yeah. So wait, the ninjas don't attack you if you're playing as Batman? That's weird. You would think they would. They don't attack you. Now, most of this stuff I don't remember ever doing in the original game. It's 
possible we did, I just don't remember. A guy That's why with I'm glasses. making the journalist mode activate joke. Oh, there you go, Drogle. Makes sense. I want more characters in multiverses. Awesome nostalgia. Wait. Yeah, multiverses comes out next month, so we'll be covering that game again. Hi Alex, hi Drogel, hi Jessica. Hi Why you have the Unstoppable song stuck in your yeah. head? Because it's, it's in everybody's head. I'm unstoppable. Da, 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 da. Um, I even thought like by just having the song loop and not having the full song in there that we weren't going to get blocked in some countries. We still got blocked in some countries. It didn't matter. Oh, wow. I was like, oh wow. I looped it. It didn't matter. <laughs> You know, most importantly, we're blocked in Russia, and we're blocked in uh, parts of Asia for that song. It's like... Okay. Oh, that's Kevin's voice. Even though that's, uh, Affleck. <laughs> if I were... If I would rewrite the ending of Spider-Man 2. Instead of what happened at the end where Peter and Miles worked together to take down Venom, I would have had them both trip over a log. And then Mary Jane would have... Mary Jane and Haley would have come in and they would have been punching Venom in the face. I don't understand. <laughs> oh, that would have been my ending. I can't believe that they didn't... they didn't do that. <laughs> Good news! Joker's back to brighten up all your miserable lives. This game had a lot of content, surprisingly, in it. Playing a meta character in 6? Okay. Okay, Goki. Journalist mode activate, says Drago. Oh, that's how he's sharing it. Journalist mode activate. That's funny. Oh, nice one, Drago. Yep. Thank you, guys. We're trying really hard to get views into the channel. We shouldn't have to work this hard, though. This is utterly ridiculous. It does make you want to quit a little bit. Well, I mean, but the thing is, I mean, what are we? What am I gonna do? I don't know. I guess we could just try to do something else. It doesn't work that way for me, though. I know that, Luke. I have a lot of also, stipulations. Oh, Street Fighter 6. Oh, a meta character in Street Fighter 6. Okay, cool. Very cool, uh, cool Goki. So, Goki, you still do the whole tournament circuit, or are you done? You still doing that these days? Or was that before the pandemic? Because I know Goki said he used to be pro or something. Uh... Why do I need to break this? Oh, he's, uh, play Blanca. he's playing Blanca, he's too cheap. I got master rank with him real fast. Wow. That's crazy. Yeah, a ton of likes disappeared. Definitely, um, well, we're trying. I'm doing the best we can, guys. YouTube doesn't want us around, so we always, we have to fight for our survival, like, every day. It's so frustrating. I mean, how many times is going to blow know. this up? I think... I don't know what it is. Oh, wow. Well, that's not suspicious at all. No, we don't want to have Joker here. I went to a tournament this past weekend in Louisiana, says Goki. How'd you do, buddy? Good? <laughs> cool. That's awesome, Goki. Very cool. Whoops. Throw in the Batarang. Batman blowing up his own stuff in Wayne Enterprises. This isn't sus at all. Oh, Oops. Toby scream in the end still gets me, says Alpha. Well, I mean, what I was trying to do is... In my mind, I remember there's a scene from the animated series where Peter is screaming Mary Jane. And I, I wanted to use that because basically in that video... That's me doing Craven. Like, uh, that's, oh. not, that's not a sound. I'm actually doing the Craven voice. Yeah, that took like 10 takes to, to get my voice that low. Um, so I'm doing the voice of Craven in that. But what I wanted to do is I was looking for a particular soundbite where Peter 
you know, is screaming, Mary Jane, like um, Daniel Barnes. But the problem is it had, like, music and sound effects in the background, like rushing water. Because basically the scene where they couldn't kill Mary Jane off in the original show. So what they did is they turned her into her clone, and they had the clone melt in front of Peter. So Peter was married to a clone for who knows how long. Oh like, the whole Hydro Man thing, so... Is this blood-curdling scream, but they have, like, all the the Spider-Man music to it, and they have, like, these weird, like, um, because the dam is closing in on him. Yeah. So I couldn't use that sound effect because it just wouldn't work with, because there's no water anywhere between Craven and Mary Jane, so. Yeah. Instead, I just ended up, like, using the Tobey Maguire, um, thing because I had already had it ratioed for that size because I used it for a YouTube short six months ago, so I figured I'd just use that same thing again. Sometimes I like to get creative yeah. with my shorts. Oh, I really like this one. I think, like, you kind of let the short speak for itself. Like, you didn't need to say, like, Mary Jane is ridiculously OP in this game. I here, showed it. And here's why. You just showed. Yeah. <laughs> you just showed what was happening. People can draw their own conclusions. Yeah, I was just messing around with it. But I can't, like, when we do our, like, you know, best clips of the, the month or whatever, when I when I upload that, I can't actually include that because... Oh, because of the song. Yeah. So I actually posted the whole thing on Twitter. Oh, wow. Nice. So the, the whole, like, proper, like, sized uh, dimensions is on Twitter. Oh, nice, Luke. Mm-hmm. I'll have to check that out. Is this not right? Yeah, I mean, what? like, all the comments on this short are saying stuff like, Yeah, they ruined this game by making her ridiculously OP. It's crazy. Yellow, I, blue, red, purple. Isn't that... Oh, I know what I'm doing wrong. Okay, this is where I can't see very well. So, this Bruce Wayne is wearing shades. He's blue. This Bruce Wayne is on the phone. He's yellow. So we need to find the statues that match... This needs to be yellow because he's on the phone. Oh, wow. Now we need to find the statue that has shades. If we can find the statue that has shades, then that's... I'm guessing this is it. So this this guy needs to be blue. Purple. Blue. Um, and then we have to guess. This one would probably be red, maybe? I can't tell if that's orange or red or what color that is, uh, actually. Okay, that's yellow. Try purple there. And then the one way over here. He's holding... He's holding money. Okay, so the guy holding money is uh, red. Blue. Red. Bingo! That is swanky. That is swanky. See how swanky that is? That's pretty swanky. Where's Black Adam again? It's in all in alphabetical order, isn't it? So where's Black Adam? Beast yeah. Boy is not on my... Okay, there he is. <laughs> oh my god. For the glory of Somebody wrote about three paragraphs about how they don't Perhaps like Mary Jane. And magical... Oh my gosh. They were like, it never fails to amuse me. They sweet baby something. Okay, they ruined my character. She has no personality, heart, or soul. She's not attractive at all. <laughs> Instead of an attractive, kind, feisty actress model who is essentially a girl next door. Mm. And they made her somebody who's ridiculously OP with no personality. Mm. I... I mean, they're not wrong. I, I want to go back and watch the most accurate interpretation of Mary Jane, which, in my opinion, is Spider-Man 1994 animated series and Sam Raimi live-action Spider-Man movies. Yeah. Agree to that to some extent. Although, the Sam Raimi movies made Mary Jane kind of, uh... Perhaps this has hidden magical what's the word I'm looking for? She kind of cheats on Peter all the time. Yeah, she's like a... The word I can't say. <laughs> she belongs to the streets. Oh, sorry. That's a phrase. <clears throat> it's getting late night, so I'm getting a little weird. 
Plastic Man! Finally unlocked. He was inside yeah, of, uh... Yeah, the word I used once when Luke's like, Yeah, you look like that one model, or that one actress, and I was like, uh, she looks like a... Da -da -da. Can I not break this? Well, are you guys happy you wanted Plastic Man? Now you have Plastic Man. Everybody's like, get Plastic Man, get Plastic Man. Now I have Plastic Man. Yep. Alright, so the gold brick has been acquired. You were wrong for that, Luke. Ah, Goki know what I did. Goki knows what's up. Hey, I see the memes all the time. Like, I pick things up every once in a while. Plastic man. Okay, there we go. Okay, uh... I think that's it for this area of Gotham is done. Which is weird, because I thought we fought Red Hood here, but I guess not. So this... but this area is all done. 100%. Good job, says Game Wing. Thank you for the help, Game Wing. So we could go to Wayne Manor. Um, I guess. Or I can go back to this area here. Uh, no, not wishy-washy, like... Uh. Let's not get into it. Uh, Sam Raimi, he did some weird things with Mary Jane's character that wasn't in character. He basically, I think what happened was when he was researching Mary Jane, he kind of confused her with Felicia Harding. Because Felicia Harding would cheat on Peter constantly. Mary Jane, not so much. Mary Jane was loyal. Peter would dump her. Which was... So he could cheat on her, which was... Very annoying until they got married. Yeah. Uh, wait, where am I? Yeah, this is correct. I'm, I'm in the right place. Wait a second. Oh, wow, you can go back and visit. This was a stage. This was where uh, Joker and Harley were at the um, beginning of the game. I don't know you could actually go back to the cathedral. That's very interesting. It's not a level anymore, but, I mean, you can see where the level happened. That's kind of neat. Yeah, I'm pretty impressed with this game sometimes. So we're playing as Plastic Man. We're hanging outside. This is the Gotham Cathedral. Yes. I've also been watching the short. Has that been helping your view count? Um, we are barely managed to stay at a thousand views. So no. Um, actually now we're at uh, eleven hundred. So yes, it did. It did peak. It 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 boosted it up by a hundred. Yeah. But it's you have to remember it's actually clicking the link. Like rewatching it over and over again doesn't do anything. Every time you click the link, it's a new view. Theoretically. Alright, so... We haven't gotten a fight Lisp Man at all. Yeah, I mean... I I'm gonna know. stop you, Batman. I don't know if I'm allowed to say this, but... I feel like Mary Jane was Mary Jane in name only. It's the second Spider-Man game. Like, her personality was not Mary Jane whatsoever. Mm. Oh, yeah, isn't that how Jason Todd Wait, has, like, this really high-pitched voice in this game? Yeah, Jason like, Todd has a lisp <laughs> in this. Yeah. He has this really high-pitched voice, too. It's, stop you. It's not like, it's not like, hey, I'm Jason Todd. I'm Jason Todd. He doesn't sound like... I'm Jason Todd. I'm here to get my revenge. <laughs> Everyone needs to watch out. Beware my power. <laughs> I got guns. Yeah, I remember when we first saw Jason Todd in this game, we both burst out laughing. Yeah, we actually, I think we have a short of that, um, where the Jason Todd thing We're made like, us We're like, that's lull. Jason's voice. It's Jason's <laughs> voice. Why? The choices that you made. Why, game? Why? 
I just remember when they didn't... above the rest. Sometimes I think they shouldn't voice the uh, Traveler's Tales games. I don't know what the decision was to make Red Hood sound like he had a lisp in this. I, I don't... I, you know? Because I believe they actually have a uh, talented actor who's playing him. It was just... It's a bad... It was a bad voice direction, because the guy who's actually playing Jason Todd, as people reminded us in that episode that got, like, it was 60 or 70,000 views, um, the dude who was playing Jason was actually a very talented voice actor. So, what you have to chalk it up to is bad voice direction. Like, the person, because voice actors don't actually do the performance by themselves. They act, but they also have, like, a vocal coach, or they have a, a, a director there that's like, okay, we like that take, keep that. <laughs> his first take was like, I'm Jason Todd. Yeah, his first... Fools. His and then, like, and then after that, his voice coach is like, okay, do that, but let's try and... More whine, lisp! Try whiny, annoying, whining, annoying. child. <laughs> yeah, this, this is a game for children, so make uh, make Jason Todd sound whiny make and annoying. Child. Okay. <laughs> like, what is it? Wah, 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 wah. Yeah. Um, where is... I love what you're doing. I love what you're doing, but take it down <laughs> a notch and do it terrible. Thank you. All right, that's uh, lunch, everybody. Let's break. <laughs> Try doing it again, but do it less <laughs> like what Jason Todd would sound less, like. Less, less like, less cool. Don't worry, everyone. Yeah. <laughs> Try to make him sound really lame. <laughs> All right, I can do lame. I can do lame. I'll show you lame. Um, Ace. Uh, warehouse. I don't know what this um what this district is called. Wait, I have no idea how to do this. I may be Oracle, but I Oh, is this a move the puzzle around nonsense? What is this? Ugh. Um Oh I remember that to Sons of King. Give your partners paid vacation time YouTube. Free the K-Wings. Thank you, Goki. It's very sweet. That'd be nice, Goki. Uh, that would be yeah, nice, they man. Should give us, they should give us paid vacation time. That's a good idea. They shouldn't have the channel, like, fall apart when we're not around. A, a YouTube channel, what's so great about YouTube is it's supposed to earn views when you're not around. It doesn't do that for us. Every time you talk about YouTube, it sounds like you're crying inside. Oh, I'm dead. I'm dead inside. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a mummy. You're the only joy I have. Are you talking to the cat? Yes. Or are you talking to the chat? Well, I mean, I love my chat, but I mean, I, I, was, I was saying you were the only joy I had. But also, I did forget that I had the cats. The cats are... What is this? I don't understand. <laughs> how do I make how do I connect this thing? How do I make the connection? I mean, never mind. I don't think I'm allowed to talk about Oops. this. But I mean this is kinda of backfiring, like all this OP stuff for women in games and media and stuff, it is kind of backfiring in a way that people don't realize. Like, now they say that that there's an increase in, like, when women stop by the side of the, ah! like, road and they need car help, like, nobody stops for them because people assume they can figure it out themselves. So it's like, no, 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 no. there's so much, like, female empowerment now nobody helps women out when they're in trouble anymore because... They're explaining so much how empowered they are. I'm unstoppable. <laughs> I don't know how to change a tire. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so I mean, like, I don't know what to do. I mean, I shouldn't be laughing because that's probably going to be me at some point. Wait, isn't this, um, this is Arkham Hugo Strange, isn't it? Or is this a different Hugo Strange? That's why I have triple A. This should help to fund my valuable research. Change a tire very well. That's the Arkham. I think that's the Arkham guy. Take control. 
Uh, oh, me for puzzles? Oh. I got it. I did it. Luke said he figured it out. Okay, so this is the one I had problems with. This is Mongol. This is the one I had issues with. In Mongol, we trust. I think Mongo was making a video game or something. Am I allowed to talk about this? What? So my head, my jaw was hurting on this side. Uh huh. And then I was like rubbing it a lot, and then my head started to feel lightheaded. Uh huh. On the other side, and I felt weird. And? That's all I had to say. Okay. Oh. Uh, that was my whole point. Now Plastic Man used to be a bad guy, so all right, we're gonna do the Mongo side quest. <laughs> Again. That is Arkham City, uh, Hugo Strange voice? Okay. Mongol quest. Look everywhere for the Mongol quest. I still wonder if, like, in, if they hadn't screwed over Henry Cavill. And they were the actually bringing him on. My personal army is going remarkably slow. I've designed a computer game that will brainwash people to join my army. But hardly anyone has come to me. I think my game is good. It's spectacularly fun with loads of puns in the dialogue. And there's plenty of unlockables and uh, Easter eggs. I'm done dealing with marketing plans. I need you to deliver my game directly to players. That will convince them to join my new destructive army. Take these review copies and get it done quickly. Okay, so we have to go give video games to people to get them addicted so that they have to buy the next product. Did you see that new reception bot at Lex? It's kind of clever, actually. Okay, so, um... You know what would be better to do what WB does? Make an amazing trailer and hype up the game like crazy and then do a complete switcheroo and make the game terrible when it actually comes out. Um, WB is known for making great movie trailers. They don't make very good video game trailers. Oh. They used to hire people to make amazing video game trailers. I would argue the last really good video game trailer that was ever done by WB was um, Arkham Origins. They hired a very talented cinematographer to do that fight between Deathstroke and Batman. And that became the antithesis of um, Ben Affleck's idea for a uh, Deathstroke versus Batman movie. Yeah. In fact, that choreography, some of it was going to show up in the um, the battle between those two characters. Because no. Ben, Ben and... I can't remember the actor who played Deathstroke. Um... Uh. Matt Damon? No. Oh no. No. Else. No, the guy who played Deathstroke. Oh. He was the guy who played Flash Thompson in the Raimi movie. Hi, Hive News. Hmm. So sorry I've been busy as of late. No worries. Good no to see worries. you. Why is there mm. no Why is there no beam of light? Uh, yeah, if there's a yep, yeah, if there's any kind of huge conflict like that, Alpha, yeah. The I mean, that's probably why all this craziness is here, like where people are all like why people are, are just acting the way that they are, where everything is like this isn't you know this isn't uh you know, representing cats enough or this isn't representing women enough. Like, all this stuff is happening because there's no real problem in the world. There's no... Well, there is a war now, but I don't want to talk It's a war we that. won't be dragged into. It's a war in the Middle East, but, I mean, there's not a war I, in I the hate, United States. I hate to be this guy, but there is always battles and wars in the Middle East. Always. It's been that way for 50 years. It's the first time that a certain country is actually attacked using drones, but um, for the most part, they have hid behind, we'll say, non-military-esque actions to attack countries they don't like. So technically it hasn't been quote-unquote a war, but it has been military actions, just they claim no yeah, stake it, in it. Yeah, everything looks like undercover. 
yeah, basically terrorist attacks are a type of military strike. It's just basically a country says, oh, they're not our people, so we can't do anything about it. Yeah. Have you played the racing spin-off Golden Fury R? All right, so we sold the game. That's one person down. I would love to be able to say there's no wars in the Middle East, but it's been like that my entire life. Like, I, I'm so much of a realist, but it's true. It'd be nice to be able to say, yes, there's peace in the Middle East. I would love to be able to say that, but it's probably not going to happen in my lifetime. Maybe our viewers' lifetime, but I don't think in mine. Some, some individual people make peace with each other over there. Mm -hmm. Like, they, they make a point to work together. Some people do, but... It's just the, you know, in general, the whole area is at war. So we have these people here. One, two, three. Oh, there's five in total. Well, that's not cool. Oh, wait. Actually, this might actually end up being a good thing. Because the dude is right there next to the helicopter, so this might actually be very easy to distribute the video game. What is it, Linky? Wait, how does that work? There's no way the guy is just... It's a monkey? We're giving a video game to... Oh, never mind. It's a guy in a hoodie. Yeah, this isn't shady at all. A free game? I'll be sure to tell everyone about it. A free game. We're basically giving away shareware. <laughs> we need more cat representations of Sons of Gaming. You guys are getting tons of cat games this year. You are. Hmm, I mean, like... It's true. Like, you're getting a big cat... Or, wait, Little Cat in Big City, Cat Quest, and then there's one other cat game. And all those cat games are coming out around the same area of time. So that's several cat games, actually. I'm just saying. And I am looking forward to the big cat in the little city. I'm going to be a mischievous cat that pushes people over <laughs> oh my God. and gets rewarded for it. Luke, I don't think... That's kind of rude for you to do that. And I'm going to do at least one stream on Cat Quest 3, because I loved Cat Quest 1 and 2. Cat Quest 2 was amazing. Uh, Brittany Luna was the one who sponsored that series for us. Yeah, she was a lot of fun. I'm hoping I can uh, uh, get a Patreon viewer to sponsor some Cat Quest 3, though. Like, after my first initial episode. Because I have a feeling the Cat Quest series never did well, but that's why I, I love our VIPs, because they let me play things that... Uh... Maybe Link will sponsor it. No. Can't have Link sponsor it. Where in the world is this person hiding out? We're supposed to distribute another video game to some shady individual, but I can't find them. That sounds kind of shady. It's super shady. Apparently, I just got a warning from the police for breaking a box. That makes a lot of sense. Wait, is the Atom actually played by, uh... Do I say anything? Dr. Ray Palmer, here to save the world with science. Oh, wow, he does say it! Um, Brandon Routh is playing C.W. Adam. I just heard it. So he plays Shazam in this, and he also plays DLC version of himself uh, as the Adam. But he doesn't play Superman in this. That's kind of cool. Super annoying. Um, so anyway, guys, at 11.30 tonight, you guys have your uh, typical, uh, like, short. And it's on um, uh, LEGO DC Super Villain stuff. And uh, I believe I have a Final Fantasy short for you guys uh, tomorrow evening. I need to finish editing it. Also, I need to start making topic videos again, because the channel really benefited from those topic videos. The problem is, there hasn't been a lot of game news either. The only game news around is about Sweet Baby, and I don't really want to talk about that stuff on this channel. Um... Oh no, I failed! I failed Mongo's quest! I went too far! <laughs> No! Oh, I hate when the game does that! Come on! I stayed- I was in this area! I was right here! Unbelievable! 
Ah, this is why I hate the Mongol quest so much. I didn't veer off target too far. That's super annoying. It's gonna make you start it all over again. Ugh. Recruitment for my personal oh, so army like is going remarkably game slow. Game I think my yeah. game is good. It's I'm done next. dealing with it. Right. Take these review copies. We could do it all quick. over again. Son of a gun. That is super annoying. That is super, super, super annoying. It canceled my quest. Can't wait to play. I can't wait to play. <laughs> I don't care. I don't like you. Man. I was in the same area, though, so I don't know why they canceled it outright, but they just literally canceled it. They're like, nope. You went too far, even though we told you to go that far. Derp. Derpy derpy derp. I don't like when they do that. It's frustrating. Because, like, I was actually succeeding with the quest, and they're like, No, I'm sorry. You failed. You failed. We told you to go here, but... Maybe you shouldn't have listened to us! Have you played the racing spin-off Golden Fury R? No, I don't care about Golden Furries. Whatever you have to say, I don't care. Right, give me my map, stupid. He's basically real life Garfield. I would be afraid if they put me in Spider Man to the game or Spider Man three if Mary Jane was in there because I'd be afraid if Mary Jane walked down the street and I was on the street she'd beat me up and throw me in a trash can. She doesn't throw people in the trash can. She just leaves the bodies like sprawling <laughs> all over the place. She electrocutes you. She didn't have the decency to try to hide you either. She just zaps you. And then that's that. We should have a movie, Mary Jane vs. Godzilla. <laughs> I mean, she's pretty much able to destroy anything she wants. Oh, why is why am I being attacked? I didn't even do anything. What is your problem? Police officer came up and punched me in the face. That's not nice. That's not nice at all. Okay, um... Might be one over here. How does Sorry, that I'm work? Chewing gum. Totally unprofessional, Amber. Can you chew any louder? Uh, I could. Yeah, let's play the chew the quiet game. Fine. Also, you ever think that maybe using your jaw this much, like for eating the gum, is actually hurting your jaw? Because, I mean, uh, you kind of chew gum violently. Like, when I chew gum, I don't chew very loud and I don't chew very hard. Oh. It's just supposed to sit in your mouth, and you're supposed to chew on it gently. Gently? How does that work? Yeah, you don't. You don't know how to talk gently, you don't know how to chew gum gently. I don't get you sometimes. So where is... Okay, I can this be is... gentle. I can pet a cat gently. No, you can't. You golden fury? Sweet. I've seen you pet Link. I've seen you pet Zelda. Like, when their ears go back like that, and their eyes, like, get really large, that means you're petting them too hard. I don't pet cats too hard. Mm. They like it. No, they don't. Link, you want to pet? He's like, please don't touch I'm me. I'm going to pet you. <laughs> he darted over here. Because I... He looks scared. I wouldn't blame him. You actually are petting him gentle. But I've I've seen you when we like when we're doing character voices, Ace Attorney, you're like pretty rough with the cats. Zelda doesn't seem to mind. She purrs, but Link has this look like my face. Hmm. Alright, so we just need one. I more. would say it was beauty that killed Godzilla, would it be me alive, says Sons of Gaming. Yep, Mary Jane is unstoppable. I'm gonna call PETA on Amber, says Goki. Cat services. Mm. Where's this last. Amber's Viking strength when petting. Yep, that's right, Sons of Gaming. Mm. Apparently, 
They're either on the street or they're near the street. How's that supposed to work? Unless they're... Where are they? Luke is always exposing me for my bad petting methods for cats. It's an ADD thing. I wouldn't, like, take it to heart. <laughs> yeah, but you... N Never mind, you notice all these weird things about me and then people, like, write it down years from now. Like, all these mean people write it down. They're like, and Amber pets cats hard, too. And it's like... <sighs> no, I have entire websites dedicated to hating me. You hardly have any haters. That's they weird. think they think that you're like Stockholm syndrome wife. They think that like uh, I am abusive toward you, and you're like just so like enamored by me that you let me get away with whatever. <laughs> you think you think, think you're like a guild can uh, 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 what do they call it? Gilded bird or something? Like the the cage bird or some nonsense like that? I don't know. It's, it's my it's my hobby to pretend to be other people on Reddit and uh, form sites and like kind of like watch these people like a hawk. They're all insane. I keep tabs on them. Uh, where in the Sorry. world is this last person? Awkward. This last person is like, where? On, are they on the street or under the street? Oops, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Didn't I? Where are all the famous tourist attractions I wanted to see? Oh, right, they're in New York. I hear somebody. Where are they? Sons of Gaming says I, that you're probably the one with Stockholm Syndrome. <laughs> <laughs> yep, Reddit's Discord. They're just jealous. No, they think I'm. I have no idea what's wrong with them. I've given up thinking about them. I just know they're evil. So I just keep tabs on them. Well, as they say. Um, I don't know why I keep getting these things about narcissists in my feed, but narcissist accusations are usually confessions. That's one thing I learned from psychology. So when a narcissist accuses you of something, like they say, you kick puppies when you go down the street, what they're really saying is... They kick puppies? I kick puppies. <laughs> what, they, what they accuse you of is what they do, so they probably abuse their own family members and wives. Who would think to find a gamer in an alleyway? This is not real. Hi, Billy. My mom wouldn't buy me a new yes, game. Yes, my mom wouldn't let me buy a new game because I hang out in alleyways in Gotham Actually, late at night. This is the future. This is when gaming has ma been made illegal in the year 2047. All the politicians on every side of the aisle have decided that gamers are the most evil. So we had to meet in back alleyways to get games. Gamers are the most persecuted group because <laughs> people have been trying to throw us in jail since the 90s and thinking that we're going to, like, destroy the world. Now, literally, you have Homeland Security keeping tabs on gamers. This is, like, 1984 insanity. I still can't believe it. Like, oh, somebody said a mean word to me. Get Homeland Security involved! This person said, what are the smack talk online? We need to invest money into this. Tap their phone! Tap their phone! This isn't right! The game works too well. They've become too engaged to tell anyone else about my game. Those were the only hard copies I had left. Uh, I suppose you fulfilled your task. Take this and get out of here before I change my mind about letting you leave. Finally! I do not like the Mongo Quest. Mm. Not a fan of this. Back in the day, it was D and D. Now games is gokey. Moral panic is stupid. Uh huh. They're finding a group of people to attack. Jotaro says you find game journals in alleyways <laughs> under bridges. No, that's after they get fired. <laughs> when they lose their job, they live under bridges, and then they like TikTok about it. Yeah. Alright, what do we have left to do? 
There's a gold brick here for some... Oh, I think this is Jason! Oh, Snark, Sharky Malarkey. No, that's not Jason. Never mind. I was wrong. We're not at the point where we're ready for Jason Amazing yet. short. Thank you, Just Mike. Shady business. Should we do this one? Do you want to know if we should do something shady? I guess so. I mean, we are YouTubers. <laughs> Shady business. Whoops. Oh. No, no, no. Psychology, Alpha. Psychology, not not the other thing. I'm gonna get in trouble if I say that. You thought I said... I said from psychology I learned that. And Alpha said I thought you said from Scientology you learned that. No, psychology. Amber's not a cult, she's just crazy. Yeah, I'm crazy on my own. I don't need that. She doesn't need weird robes and <laughs> denying. Although Amber doesn't like doctors, so I mean, I guess she would fit in with Scientology. Seriously? You didn't tell me there was going to be yeah, a shutter? Yeah, I probably would. How but... was I supposed to know there was going to be a shutter? Didn't I tell you to come here last night for a stakeout? Oh, Wait, I he can make himself really big? I didn't know we could do that. Come on. There must be a clue to get this thing open around here somewhere. Jim Carrey Joker. Dodd, uh, Jim Carrey Riddler. put this here and why can't I use it? Hmm? Lots of Freudian slips You later. wish he played the Joker at some point, don't you? I think he wished he played the Joker at some point. What? You guys are my childhood. I w used to watch your Batman videos. Says you, Michael bro. DeSantis. Thank you, Michael. Uh, wait, what? Why would they have this here? The Atom now I need to switch to? That doesn't make any sense. Um. Wait. Okay, quickly switch to him. I'm so confused. What do they what do they want me to do? I use this and then I use the atom to what? I'm supposed to somehow get inside of there? What in the world? Is this just not working correctly? Yeah. Right. Yeah, but it disappears now. I don't understand. Something's not working right here. You need x-ray vision systems of gaming. Right, I, I have x-ray vision, but it's not letting me get inside. Mm. You know what? Skip this. We're just gonna be Superman. We have to recruit the people, so share it. Huh? Date, Doomsday poster date, says Game Wing. Might come back to this later, because it's not working. Mm. Try Superman. Superman has x-ray vision. Ray, stop that. Well, that was weird. Write it down. The doomsday poster date. Write it down. Doomsday poster date. What doomsday okay, poster thank you, date? Game Wing. 29... Zero one eighty six. Twenty nine zero one eighty six. Twenty nine zero one eighty six. But where's the twenty nine star? Ugh, come on, there must be a clue to get this thing open around here. Twenty nine. Uh, no, stop. No, I need you to second tier. Second tier. Wow, you guys have gotten us up to almost 1,500 views. 
Great job, everyone. 29. It says zero is the next one. Zero. Was it zero one? Zero one. And then 86. Oh, phooey! It changed it. Thank you. Well, this wasn't shady business. Woohoo! Did you do that? No? <laughs> Haunted Shutter! Run! Uh, okay. <laughs> what do we have here? Gold brick. I'm sure I can find a good use for it. Well, that wasn't shady business. That was a gold brick. Where in the world is shady business at? It was 290186. Thank you, Sons of Gaming. Why is shady business not there? Henry Cavill, where's shady business at? Man, I haven't seen the likes move at all for a while. No, time. the likes haven't moved at all. I'm aware. The views are frozen too. Yeah. Where in the world is this guy? This place. Ugh, so ghastly. Whoa. You never do, honey. No. Do Black Adam. <laughs> There's shady business. Untitled Goose Game, just like you want to be that cat mm. that makes mischief. He liked the Untitled Goose Game because he this could kick place. people. Ugh, you know what I mean? Ghastly. Honey. Yeah, listen. You know the goose that that made mischief for people. The cat would be similar to that. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Alex. Ah, a pleasure to meet you. I am the Shade. Some villains control minds. Some villains sing songs. Me? I see madness. Just as my wealth amassed, so did my enemies. Although I manipulate the shadows, I sometimes cannot see inside the deep, dark recesses of this city. Find out who put a pretty penny on my head whilst I hide in this dive. A definite improvement over the last person who tickled my fancy. Go, speak to those who would bring about my untimely end. Okay, so we have to go find people that are trying to get rid of uh, the shade. They have no love for shade. And all these people are... around here. I've seen some really big guys around but finding these people is always super annoying. You know what, we'll come back to this area. Um, yeah, I will try to activate some fast travel points. That's a good idea. Um, uh, wait, is this one of the bad guys we need to talk to? Why do these people have guns? Seriously? Foolish mortals! You can't hurt me, I'm just, uh, Captain Marvel, fool. 
gonna go out of our way. Fast travel to the iceberg lounge? But I didn't open the iceberg lounge. Alright, so what does this guy look like? There's a dude in this area that is part of the shady quest. It's fine. No, I'm just upset with the views, Amber. I'm not upset with you. No. There's a cat. That's not going to help us. Where's the dude who put the hit out? I don't know where Zelda is. I hope she's not in the office. Did you check in the basement today? You could be sleeping on your beanbag chair. Have you been in the in the office at all today? Okay, so then we can rule out that she's not in the office then. I just saw a black cat come from the basement. Yep. What? I know I really shouldn't be telling you this, but they don't call me Tony Tattletale for nothing. A guy called Ludlow sent us to take out that guy in the top hat. Keep it to yourself, okay? Are you sure it's that? Okay, as long as it's not the other thing. Okay. You're going to prom on the 27th of April? Is that when prom usually happens? I thought prom is later. I thought prom's like in fall or something. I never went, so I don't know. Okay, so there's a bad guy over here at the docks. I'm pretty sure this is where you fight Red Hood, though. Yeah, this is where you fight Red Hood, on top of the Iceberg Lounge. Right, so there's another shady customer somewhere. Aha! The shade? Someone out to get him? I've no idea what you're talking about. Not all us henchmen act the same, you know. Okay, so that's two henchmen down. There's another henchman on top of... What is that? There's a building in the middle of the, the river? Ace Chemicals. You're fine, Amber. What does that say? Ace Chemical. Taking over the world? We're a chemical for... We have a chemical for that. Okay, that's pretty clever. Ah, oh, there's a ninja. If I hide here long enough, I'm sure to win. Maybe I'll even break his record. I am getting hungry though. Okay, so the ninja was over there. We're getting there. Only two more people left to find. I'm getting the hang of how to find these fools now. Sort of. Um, where in the world is this guy? How many of you had today? Okay, just take it as directed or you're going to get an immunity to it. That's what happened to me. Right, but I mean you need to take it as directed or else it'll never work again. I have very few painkillers that will actually work if I have to go to the emergency room. Because I, I took too much uh, painkillers as a kid. 
I don't want you to suffer the way I do because I have no relief when I have a headache. I have no relief when I'm actually like in severe pain. Um, if you, you know, take too much Tylenol and Advil, the same thing will happen to you. Probably be the best course of action. Mm -hmm. That's why it's good to take as directed though, not to overdo stuff. And I want you to learn the hard way. Where is this freaky fool? Where are you? I don't see anybody. I hear him, but I don't see him. Wait, is that him over there? No, that's that's a trash can. Container? What container? I don't see what you guys see. I mean, there's lots of containers here. No, that's not it. Goons, but after carefully assessing the situation, I have concluded Where that is this guy? The, uh, synergy to pull this one off. It's not here. Is it on the lower level? No. There he is. I'll tell you where he lives. The one who sent us lives at 1 Gotham Street, Gotham Central, Gotham. Okay. One more guy. Right by the shade himself. And this is the last one I'm doing. Whoops. I'm stuck. Right, and he is where the shade is here so then where's the shades uh, stalker probably ground level maybe there was a dude walking around with a gun why can't it be that guy There's nobody here. Uh, nope. Nope. Mm. Well, that guy looks shady. too far. Yeah, I went way too far now. I think he would be in an alleyway or something. Dude's literally carrying a gun. That's just normal, huh? I can't read that. I'm 
yeah. Address perfectly precise. Ludlow. Ludlow. Oh, I know that name. Why do I know it? The shadows are clearing, and with it comes clarity. Ludlow sent this band of rascals to claim what is owed. Who is Ludlow, you ask? My landlord. My rent is one, two, mm, three months overdue. How shameful. I should stop being a Scrooge and pay him a visit at his old haunt. Could you tell the hoodlums that are promptly going to burst through the door that it was all a misunderstanding, please? Much obliged. Curious. Perhaps this has hidden magical properties. They believe they can stop me. How pathetic! <laughs> <laughs> Wait, he was running from the League of Assassins? I guess that makes sense. I don't know, honey. So I unlocked the shadow. Or... Nothing. Nothing. No. You didn't do anything. Okay, so that's it. That's it for now. Somebody said they wanted me to fly to Wayne Manor to unlock that real quick, so I'll do that. Only supposed to take what's directed. You take any more than that, you risk, uh... Right, I'm just telling you. What is this? Yeah, this is exactly what I need. I don't. Okay, that's done. Yep. And... Mm-hmm. The only place left to do... Be nice to have a fast travel point to Metropolis. Let's do that real quick. And then we're gonna call it. And I'm already late for my other stream. Whoops. Uh, night and day difference in Metropolis. Yep. There you go. Yeah, that's a lot of stuff in Metropolis. Look at that. Oof. We'll be getting to Metropolis eventually. We're not anywhere there yet. We're out. Fast travel back to Gotham. There we go. So, Wayne Manor has bricks. Uh, we'll do the amusement one. Because I don't want to do this super happy stuff. Any, I'd like to get all the Gotham stuff done if I can. Pretty much. Alright, people. Um, that is going to do it for this episode. I guess it saved what I was going to do. I don't know. Uh, it's probably going to have me start off in Metropolis, actually. But it is what it is. So in order to get another stream of uh, LEGO DC Super Villains, a thousand views is required. Um, this stream has... Um, uh, what does the stream have? 770 is the best I could do after two hours and 
seen some really big guys around. Two hours and what? Wonder if the cable car can Two hours and thirty-nine minutes. That's crazy. Um, update on Ace Attorney for you guys. As of uh, ten o'clock, it has seven hundred and seventy views. Ace Attorney needs a thousand, so got quite a uh, quite a battle ahead of you for Ace Attorney, and also. Lego DC Super Villains is ending at the same amount of views as uh, Apollo Justice Trilogy. So 770. They're both even. Your YouTube short will be up at 11.30, and the X-Men stream will be starting up in uh, 15 minutes. Because I have to get my equipment set up for that. Thanks so much for watching. Thank you for the super chat. Um, and the gifted memberships. You guys are breathtaking. Really appreciate the support. And uh, next time we'll be doing more of the story as well as more free roaming stuff. All in one stream. All right, guys. See you on X-Men. You'll be sent over to where X-Men are. Um, the X-Men. Yeah. It's not happening at 945, though. That's uh, that's wrong. All right. See you guys on X-Men. It's going to take me some time to set that game up because it's old. Later.